My complaint with most commercial viewfinders, like this one and this one, is that in order to get a wide angle view, you have to pull them right up next to your nose and you still can't see very much. So here's my answer to that. To do this, you need a mat, any size you choose. Cut the mat so that you have two corners like this. Then position the corners into the format that you would like, like this. Bulldog clip on one of the uh, overlaps right there. Bulldog clip on another overlap right here. Now this gives you a viewfinder that makes sense. And you can make the viewfinder larger if you wanted to, or you can make it smaller. But it's a viewfinder that when you hold it in front of you and look through it, you have a reasonable amount of material that you can work with instead of having a tiny little close-up like the little uh, commercial viewfinders do. But there's one other part to add to this. And that is, if you like to compose with rebotment, you can add the rebotment feature to this uh, viewfinder and then compose your rebotment on the viewfinder itself. Now here's the way you do that. To, to get the rebotment, this is a, a skewer, wooden skewer. So to get the rebotment, uh, first of all, I would find the, I'd find the length of the short side of the rectangle and then place it here like that. Then Position the skewer in that spot like that so I have the square. And this is the rebotment so that I have then the square, the rebotment, and the rectangle. And then um, attach that with another clip like this. Now, now I have a rebotment. Now, I can take the rebotment and I can find my composition with the rebotment. So, uh, say take this image. Now, where would there be a good rebotment? A good rebotment. Let's turn it this way. Um, no, right. I would make it turn it back this way. Well, one potential rebotment could be the vertical of this tree. We'd add a little bit more landscape over here, and then this landscape there. It doesn't make a very interesting composition. So let's let's look at the versatility of this little homemade tool. What I can do here is to make it uh, uh, a different size and even maybe a different format. There we go. Something about like that. Now that, you might say, well, that's the traditional size. Well, just as to show you this demonstration because chances are, if you're looking at it, that scene in plain air, you'd be able to find this little building within the rebotment and that would, uh, that would do the job. So... Uh, rather than to go through the measurement again, I'm just going to kind of position the rebotment by eye, like that, and clip it. Now, now let's see what happens. Right in here, now we can find the rebotment. I can put the rebotment on the edge of this building, and that would give us this building within the square of the rebotment, the rest of the landscape on this side and that would help to place the building there. Now, the other thing that you can do, if you have an outdoor easel like this, you can take a larger bulldog clip and clip it to the top of your easel like this. Once you have your, um, once you have your rebotment uh, located, if you're looking at a landscape like this, and once you have your composition located within the rebotment like I have here, then you can, uh, you can place it within that, uh, on top of the bulldog clip, take some kneaded eraser here and secure it like that. There we go. Now, this is what's neat. Now I can position myself, look through this at the scene, and then I have it here uh, where I could paint the scene by looking through my, my viewfinder, have my, my main subject in the rebotment square and be able to relocate it every time. So there's your quick tip.